so we were talking about um, hypertension or high blood pressure, and um, was a, took a you know a test, but you know they took blood pressure. Anytime I get an opportunity, free blood blood pressure test, I do it because I'm on a little medication, um, lowest possible dose. And of course, you know they give you advice when they do that because on campus here they got to give you the whole spiel. You know you, you know it already. You know, exercise, diet, a lot of water, so a lot of water in the morning. And blah, blah, blah. But anytime you ask them about, not them, but any doctor, they say, well, what causes hypertension? You know, They'll say something like, well, you know, it's, a, it's, it's genetic, and uh, they don't know, blah, blah, blah. And so I had always been thinking about that, because so in my particular situation, you know, there was no reason. I've always, ate, from a kid, I've always ate well, you know, always very active, exercise, blah, blah, blah. And as I got older, it's got worse and worse, worse. Now, from what I, my estimation of getting worse and worse and worse is that uh, basically, uh, you know, you have the plaque that builds up inside your arteries, so your arteries get smaller. So about blood flow, you know, it's about blood flow. I mentioned before, Dr. Sapi always said, you know, you have to watch the mucus, and then and, and basically your immune system has to be big. But you know, mucus and inflammation are the two things that you need to check, to make sure that it's in check in your body. Um, and so you know, but and of course we went through this before, but you know, uh, to check uh, um, uh, inflammation, you know, a good thing is turmeric and pepper together. Put that in everything. <laughs> People even make paste and then smoothies out of it and stuff like that. Um, but there's a thing I, I think, especially with blacks, because it's so prevalent in black Americans. Now, of course, a lot of black Americans um, come from uh, from the South, you know, uh, and and because the diet is such that you know you got a lot of those cool drinks, you got a lot of fat content, you got you know just you no know, frying everything. Oh, the worst thing, please stop, stop the frying, especially frying in whatever oil we're using. Just stop the frying. If you want, don't want to use ghee, olive oil is not that great. Use ghee. Uh, I don't know, avocado, but anyway, the point is just the fried food is, is, is killing us, right? Um, but the other thing I'm, I realized, I'm going like, black people are under tremendous stress in the United States. I mean, tremendous stress. I mean, you think about, uh, you know, when the cop comes, you know, whatever, you're driving in your car, blah, blah, if you have a car. Uh, I was walking in Florida one time, just walking down the road, because I walk, I always walk. And, you know, so this car comes by, some rednecks, you know, yell something and threw something, you know, that, that kind of stress always always is there. But I was, in the animal kingdom, there's a, there's a thing called fight and, f and flight. Fight and flight. And what it does, it triggers the, adren uh, the, um, the adrenaline in your system because then you're ready to, the adrenaline gives you that boost of, you know, like, 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 like go at it. But every time you trigger that adrenaline, if you trigger it all the time, then your body is, Producing that adrenaline, I'm thinking that it has. I have no medical. I have no facts on this, even though we're in a medical check. I used to be a lab technician, so I, I have bonus fees to wear a medical thing anytime I want to. Um, uh, but so I think that this uh, the, this this whole plaque and buildup in the arteries, of course, you also uh, um, you you you're, uh, as you maybe when you get well, I have tight hamstrings. I'm dealing with that right now. But the the uh, the tendons and when they tighten up around the muscle or around the, the muscle the muscle tighten up around around the vein that that, that it decreases blood flow. So we're in this incredible bind. So all these things have to be addressed. I'm addressing it myself. So um, so we'll see see what happens to get this blood flow and get rid of this plaque. I know there's some sort of procedure where you can uh, they stick something in your vein, whatever. It's so like go to root it cleans out that stuff. I just hate introducing anything into my body, you know. But I might have to go that route one of these days if I get to this situation where if, if, if you know, if, if the Great Spirit puts me on that path and reveals it, then I'll do that. But anyway, so that's, that's the thing. I'm just saying that, you know, black people, man, stop frying. Uh, that fight or flight, we just do, that fight or flight, the other thing is just do meditation. I mean, in the morning, I do this whole, not just a little thing, a little, little qigong and tai chi and then prayer and meditation in the morning, in the morning. But just try to do that and then see what happens. That's a little advice from me, T, from the Patterson's taking the trains to bed, letting you know what I only suspect.